After weeks of celebrating mm. and partying through the holiday season, many people decide to go alcohol free in January. Yeah, and in fact, last year more than a third of adults participated in dry January. And whether you're just taking the month off or you're giving up alcohol entirely, there are a few spirit brands that are now helping enhance your sober experience. Love mm -hmm. that. One of those is Mingle Co Mocktails. It's the brainchild of Laura Taylor, and it's helping everyone feel like they are part of the party. She joins us now. Welcome to New York Living. Thank you, Mary Saul. It's a pleasure to be here. Look at that fabulous photo. This is, I lo okay, I love this. Mm -hmm. I'm here for this. I'm, I'm, I like to keep an open mind yes. about these things. And I just have to say, I love the level up mm -hmm. that the mocktail has taken. Absolutely. I mean, we want to have a sophisticated but fun experience. So Mingle Mocktails is all about feeling part of the party. And whether you choose to take a break or not drink at all, you have something that you can mix and mingle with. That's fine. Beautiful. We have options, too. I yeah. saw a Blackberry Business Backstage. What are, what are we looking at here yeah, for flavor? We've got, we've got five flavors, but what you see here is the Cranberry Cosmo, the Blackberry Hibiscus Bellini, oh, yeah. the mm -hmm. Key Lime Margarita, <gasps> the Moscow Mule. We also have the Cucumber Melon Mojito and oh. Blood Orange Elder flower mimosa hold on there's another flavor coming out upside down stay tuned i'm just gonna say rose all day just oh, a snap. So you've piqued this one's interest <laughs> so laura taylor how does one come to this industry what is your background how did you arrive yeah, here yeah my background is tech completely wow. different i wanted to be a businesswoman in the corner office but I gave up drinking alcohol about eight years ago and found when I went to those work events, there was nothing for me but boring soda or water. And I thought, this stinks. You know, I yeah. want to feel part of. So after a lot of research and looking at the data, I thought, you know, with plant-based and vegan and vegetarianism, people who choose to go alcohol-free should have an option. So I launched Mingle Mocktails. This is fantastic. You, I know a handful yes. of people, close people in yeah. my circle, who don't come from a family of alcoholism or, you know, they were like, I am sober and this is what I want to do. For no particular reason right. other than they felt better when they yeah. did well, drink. Yeah, that's facts. So, so kudos, kudos to Thank you. Thank you. But if you are entering this space. Sober curiosity, if you will. sober curiosity? I know it's a funny term right now. It's super hip to be sober. Sober curious is just really exploring your relationship with alcohol and to just be super simple about it. It's for somebody who chooses to take a booze break sure. for whatever the reason. And what I love about Mingle is every can and bottle has a recipe to mix or simply mingle because I don't drink. My husband, he's doing dry January, so is my daughter, sure. which I love. Right. Um, but they'll be mixing, you know, in February. Okay. That was my next question. <laughs> the, I mean, the flavors, and I can smell already the ones that you've poured. They're so beautiful. So it, it almost seems like a no-brainer to like you know once you get through your dry January sure. or if that's what you're doing you can yeah. add a shot of tequila your favorite spirit in there yeah. as well they are ready to drink so I all I went about it this being upscale but approachable so the the flavors are fun and sophisticated they are ready to drink but you could jazz it up with a little tequila mm, or Prosecco mm -hmm. I choose just to garnish it with fresh berries. I feel like everything's better in a champagne flute. 100%. Yep. So you can create that experience <laughs> however you like. I, I think like the mojito one, if you were to muddle some oh, some, sure. some yes. of the bottom yes. and then pour yeah. it over ice. That I sounds like that really business. really nice for me. So as you arrived from tech, saying goodbye to the corner office, yeah. you land at Mocktails. What were some of the lessons that you learned when you were building this brand? Yeah, so I had a lot of fear, fear of failure. I mean, I'm sure you've heard of the imposter syndrome. Oh, I was we live in, that, in that world. And I did some research on women in particular who let fear get in the way of success. And I decided, you know what? I'm not gonna do that anymore. So I decided to just go for it with the mindset of, I'm gonna figure this out. Mm -hmm. So I Googled like, how do you start a beverage company? What are the mistakes that people make when starting a beverage company? And I mean, you could tell I'm all about research and do the work mm -hmm. before I jump in, but I double had it for about a year and a half before I got success in retail. I got into Whole Foods, I'm like, okay, I think it's time to quit the job and do this full time. I also leverage people in my network who mm -hmm. know more than me to try and fill those mm -hmm. gaps. But I would just say for anybody, especially a woman looking to take a leap, whether in business or in personal life, especially in January, don't let fear get in the way and just yeah. do it. You can figure it out along the way. Amazing. And mm -hmm. you mentioned success. I wonder if you might share with us how you 
Laura Taylor, would define that word <clears throat> success? Oh my gosh. I think, um, I think, Alex, you talked about authenticity for this year. I would say, to me, success is being the same strong person in personal life as well as professional life. Mm. And I would say that this brand is me, I am my brand. So I've put my world into it. And if it's not gonna be a thriving success, I haven't done anything wrong. So I would say success is living with no regrets and just going for it and see what happens because that's how especially women, you know, start and launch successful businesses. Right. They just go for it. So to me, success is just going for just it. Go here, here. And surround yourself, you mentioned, with people who are smarter than you I are. I love that. Which is it takes so, a village. So important. Yeah. I'm gonna, can me, what Absolutely. my, can me, so can you've me, got can me, me, can me, Mary can me, Mary, so this is the Cranberry Cosmo, Alex, you and I are enjoying the Blackberry Hibiscus <gasps> Bellini, and this is about 20 calories, 15, 20 calories, so oh, low wow. cal, clean crafted, and all natural. Mm. Instantly elevated mm. when it's in a beautiful this vessel. This is delicious. This is nice. Thank you. A little effervescent. Chin chin, yes. So bold of flavors. I love it. You can see the I bubbles. And it. you don't miss the alcohol. What I love is I do feel part of the party. Like, yes, it's morning time, but I can mingle any time. And this is also not sweet at no. all. No. Right. It, ta it doesn't flavor. taste fake or sugary. Now, where can folks this. get this? Fantastic. Well, here in New York, you've got <clears throat> Total Wine, Meg Wegmans, Whole Foods is one of our top retailers. Wow. We've got some local retailers like Gourmet Garage, there's ShopRite. Nationally, we're in Publix, CVS, and Growing You're Auburn. everywhere. You're lady. everywhere, man. Amazon, MingleMocktails.com. So yeah, please Amazon. support us. Small business all Listen, the way. Yeah. Led by a woman. Congratulations. We love Thank this. you so much. Thank, Thank you. Thank so you. And there you go, MingleMontails.com mm -hmm. for any and everything else that you may need. Love, Love this. Thank you so much. And congratulations. Continued success mm -hmm. to Cheers, you. Cheers, ladies. Thank and you so much. And wear that red. Honey. We're looking Thank for you. that rosé all day <laughs> in the future. Okay? <laughs>